Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hi! If you're the new security guard, then welcome! I'm gonna be your personal guide that will give you hints and tips along the way and to help you get comfortable at the new and improved Charles Pizza Zone. Now before we get started, I wanted to tell you a brief backstory about the previous location. To keep a long story short, the, the, the pizzeria was very successful, made lots of rent of you, and attracted more customers than driving them away like a certain brown bear who gave me nightmares when I was just five. <sighs> Unfortunately, it ended too soon, because in late November 2009, there was a fire that occurred in the kitchen, which sadly killed five employers. The company unfortunately filed for bankruptcy after that. All hope seemed lost for the poor company. Until in early 2014, CBC Entertainment decided to team up with, believe it or not, and because we didn't really have a choice, Fast Bear Entertainment. Yeah, I was shocked that the company was still open after all these years. You see, they're still open for business, they just don't make animatronics anymore. And I could see why. What did we do after the partnership, you may ask? Well, construction began on a new restaurant, and soon, Charles Pizza Zone 2.0 opened its doors in March. Where are the new improvements? Well, with some inspiration of the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, we have a variety of arcade games, multiple party rooms, and upgraded versions of Charles Rabbit and his friends. They are now super kid and adult friendly and have a much wider range of movement. You should come here during the day. <laughs> It was booming today. Well, anyways, on to your job. You'll be monitoring the building till 6 a.m. to make sure no one moves and... Uh, and that, that you think that's probably it, right? Well, actually, no. You'll, you'll also be monitoring the characters to make sure they don't get too close to your office. And if they see you... The thing is, we have a rule for endoskeletons that they must always have a suit on. And since the building is dark, They'll see you as a naked endoskeleton, most likely, and we'll try to stuff you into a suit filled with animatronic devices, crossbeams, and pretty much the stuff to make an animatronic work, which can be painful, and you'll, it'll kill you instantly. So that's why there's steam at your disposal. When the animatronics appear in your office, let off the steam for a few seconds until you notice that they're gone. But don't let off too much steam, because inhaling too much of it can cause suffocation. So always, so always use caution when using it. And about the window in front of you, I recommend lining up every once in a while if you can't find someone on your cameras. And don't worry, they can't break through the glass. Well hey, I'll chat with you tomorrow. Now check the lights, don't use too much steam, and watch your back. Okay, good night.
If you made it to day two, then great job! Uh, by now you've probably noticed the older models lying around in the parts and services room. Those are from the previous location. If you're wondering why they weren't scrapped, it's because when we salvaged them after the, the first location burned down, we realized that they were still somewhat intact after the fire, and we tried our best to restore and repair them to their original condition, and maybe retrofit them with the newer technology. But it just didn't work out, and it proved to be too costly. So we decided to just toss them in, in the back room and make brand new versions of the characters with advanced movement and even facial recognition. What's facial recognition? It gives the animatronics the ability to recognize a previous guest who visited them, whether it was a birthday or just a visit. All right, before I go, I forgot to mention a few things I should have mentioned last night, like the buttons on your doorways. There's a light and a shock on each side. Those are for the old models, because I don't know how it's possible, but they still have some power left in them, and I don't think the steam works on them. Um, if for if, if some reason one of them activates during the night, and if you don't see them on the cameras, make sure to check the lights, and be, and be quick about it. You may only have a few seconds to react, but when they do appear in either your right or left door, use the shock button to repel them. However, use it only when necessary, because even though the building can't run out of power, your shock power can, so keep track of how much juice you have. And also, uh, also check camo too from time to time. Rock Time Petro doesn't like it when he's being washed, and he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time, so periodically check on him, and if he does escape, let off some steam. Or if, if there are certain animatronics in your doorway and you can put, pull up the monitor, then let off a little extra steam so you don't die, okay? A good night, and I'll chat with you tomorrow.